Hey everyone, what's up? Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to use them slides. So, let's just jump into it. So, to open your slides, go to google.cr or .com or .in, whatever you want to use, and whatever you use in the first place. Um, click the waffle icon next to your profile pic, and it will show you a lot of things. Scroll to the part under this line over here where I, where my cursor is, and click slides. Then Google will redirect you to Google Slides. So, in Google Slides, we can start by making a presentation with a template. Let's do uh, your big idea. Okay, finally, we're here. So, making presentations that stick. You just want to make presentations that stick, people. Make presentations that stick already. Okay. So, that's good. Um, maybe we want to change this to... Uh, A guide by whoever you want it to be. Maybe someone's name is that. But that's probably not someone's name. Um, what about this? Let's just put this for now. So, making presentations that stick. Okay. So, selling your idea. So, if we want to customize this thing we can just like go here or over here so and then we can click one of those and the color of our text changes in the a thing with the underline so maybe what you want a bluish color who knows maybe this color Oh yeah, and most of the time you have to highlight it like that. Most of the time. It's working for me without that, but I don't know about you. We're probably both on different browsers. Okay, oh yeah. Hmm, maybe we want a blackish color? Hmm, or maybe we want a white. Okay, enough deciding. We'll just go with the shade of pink thing. So then we can choose a background. So you can choose a color here from solid or gradient. And you can reset to the main theme. So maybe we want to put this so we can reset it. But you can also choose an image. Google, is this a Google search? Okay, so you can upload it, go to your camera. No, I, I don't want you to use my camera. Shut up. By URL, um, so, or your Google Photos, or your Google Drive, or you can even search for a Google image. But most of them are copyrighted. So, you'll have to change them a bit. Maybe you want to search for a flashlight. Who knows? And then, all the Google images for flashlights will show. If we don't like realistic flashlights, we can put a flashlight cartoon. But make sure there's a... No. Background. Because sometimes you can see white at the back of it. 
I don't want background. I want background. Yeah. What the what? Flashlight cartoon? No. Oh, flashlight. Flashlight. How did I miss that H? How? How? Is this just my keyboard? Seriously, it's an up. OMG, what the hell, me? Flashlight cartoon? No background. Okay, fine. What the? Um. G O G G L E. What the hell? These are not cartoon flashlights. These are not cartoon flashlights. Look there. That's literally a picture of Einstein. What does Einstein have to do with flashlights? What? What? I'm asking you, Google. How do you even find these images? What the hell? Do you search for the exact opposite of what I literally just said? Because it seems like that. Okay, so maybe we can search for... Maybe we want tea. Okay, that's way better. I don't know why Google was going crazy with flashlights, but the first feet, the ones in the first row are good, but the next rows are completely crazy. Well, except this one. This looks kind of like the Java logo. And this one looks like a mug. And this one is better. Oh, wait, what? How is the first political cartoon in here? We literally just searched up T. Why is the first political cartoon here? This is literally the first political cartoon. Why is it here? That's Pennsylvania. That's Massachusetts. And that's Virginia. That's North Carolina. That's South Carolina. <gasps> that's New York. That's New Jersey. That's what, what, what? And where's Delaware? Man, what the hell? What, what, what? Uh, 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 how does a business, what does a businessman have to do with tea? What the, what? Ugh, okay, let's search for something more straightforward. Glasses. Seriously, Google, you can't film that. Uh, uh, oh, a guy with glasses, that makes sense. But, it, 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 what, 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 am I seeing things? Or is this guy having no glasses on him? It, what, wait, do I just, am I seeing things? Or am I seeing pizza spelled sideways? Okay, Google is better at that. Beer? 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 Oh, a glass. A glass of beer. A magnifying glass? Uh, uh, books wearing glasses? Uh, uh, what, what, what does a battery have to do with this glasses? A battery and a flower and a Baby and Lego and lightsabers and tomate tomatoes and more Lego and fire and a bag and another baby and a cup. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. And flowers and plankton. Wow. If you don't know who plankton is, he's a character from SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, so let's forget about this. Google is being crazy because, look, a picture of a chicken. When I searched for cartoon glasses and it was no background. <laughs> so if you just want to insert one of these, keep in mind, don't actually do that without editing the photos. So maybe we want a little turkey. Gobble, gobble. And then you can press insert. Done. And that's uh, the giant turkey. But it's, but it's not yours. So I'm gonna change it. Because it's not made by me. It's made by somebody else. And it might get copyrighted. Oh my god. Copyrighted. Copyrighted. Okay. Whatever. Let's just go. 
intro? What? Uh, uh, I am shocked, Google. What is up with your templates? Unexpected? Emotional? Simple? Simple should be at the start. Just one approach to grab the audience's attention. Unexpected. Emotional. Simple. Seriously. Simple should be the, f is the first thing, literally the first thing in the list. How many languages do you need to know to communicate with the rest of the world? Tip. That's my tip. No two languages. You should know two languages at the least. Wait, what? Is there other text here? What the hell, Google? The dark mode doesn't even work. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Tip. No two languages. That's my tip. Just one. Your own. With a little help from your smartphone. Tip. I'm the helpful person here. Ninety languages? Seriously? There's more than ninety languages. If there's almost two hundred countries, there's more languages than countries that exist. Okay, whatever. So let's just skip this. How do you add text in your, into your thing? Okay, so we want to add some text. Yeah, I just said that. We want to add some text. So let's put it in. Um, so you click this text button over here. And then a text box should come up and you can move it on that blue things. And if the blue things aren't there, you can just click around till you find the blue thing. So then... If you want to resize it, it, click these cubes, I think, what Google wants me to call them. Cubes on the, so if you want to resize them, click on the cubes on the side. And sometimes they don't expand like here. But there's an easy fix for that. Just put your font size up from up here beside the font and all this BIU stuff. I'll get into that later. So, yeah. Now we can type anything we want. Okay, so exam OMG. examples with the whatever. Say we want to delete this page; it's completely useless. So we just uh, um, right-click it, and then click. Um, you can either cut if you want to. Or you can, oh, where did the delete go? Oh, it's right here under the paste without formatting in the same box as the cut. So delete. Or you can just put press the delete on your keyboard. Meet Marcus. We don't want to meet these people. Okay, who cares? Google. And Google's literally putting in ads in their template. Serious. Google tr Translate doesn't even work anymore. Google Translate does not work. Seriously, Google. So, yeah, Google. Forget your translate, it's horrible. It's horrid, I hate Google Translate. Simple gesture, okay. We want to delete that. Let's delete that. Delete! Let's delete all of this. Okay, now we can start from scratch.
on our own without Google. So let's put in a new slide. What you have to do is go to the left here and click this drop down menu. You can make a title slide, section header, a title and body, title and two columns, title only, lots of things. Maybe a big number. 100. No, 1000 per cent. Ooh, percent of buyers dot 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 just to go with the theme. So we can change the color here to red, the same color, and maybe we could change the theme. Just click on these three. Th wait, sorry. So close that window and then click the three dots. Wait, where did the theme go? Oh, Google, it was just open. It was literally just right there. Where did you move your themes? Was there a five-second update that I missed? Uh, uh. Okay, whatever. So when you saw that themes thing, there you could change a lot of things in there. Like how the page looks. So there are different themes, like if you go back to, okay, finally, okay, so maybe we can go to a lookbook, okay, this is a theme, okay, so just click there for themes when you're just starting a presentation, so, this is the theme. Which theme is this? This is the theme Swiss. And you can tell by looking at Swiss here and that there. See, it's it, it, it's Swiss. And if you cl click this, that's the Your Big Idea theme. And this is another theme. It's called Shift. Oh, there's a lot of themes. But we want to exit out of it and delete it because it's useless to us. So we take lookbook, click on the three dots and remove. Move the trash. Yes, move the trash. Okay, finally. Oh, close. That was 1,000% of buyers in our old presentation. We can just put anything we want. But seriously, don't do that. This is a presentation. Okay. So, there are lots of different things we can do with Google Slides. That's straightforward. But how do you present your slides? How do you actually present it? Well, it's easy. There's this present box here. Okay. So, here's our first slide. And then you can either click this button in the bottom left corner or you can click the right button on your keyboard. If you want to go back, press left or this button on the very bottom left. Okay, so let's go. 1000% of buyers, blah, blah, blah. So we can even have a pointer. Look at this book. It, w it won't be likely to get a lot of buyers because it looks like it has duct tape on it, which makes it look used. Oh yeah, and don't click this or else it will take you to the next slide. Just move your pointer with your mouse without clicking. Okay, so we can change the slide here too. So in the slide one and change it to slide three. And there's also a Q&A thingy. So, that's how long your presentation has been there for. So, you can answer questions in Q&A. You can start an audience Q&A. Um, so, I can just click that to go to the slides Q&A. Slides Q&A, your big idea.
So then you can submit over here, and this is for anyone. So you can go back to your small Q and A window. Um, I don't think that's on screen right now, but a Q and A window would pop up. So um, let me just show you the Q and A window. <laughs> Okay, so, now you can see our Q&A window. So, I asked a question in that Q&A link that I pressed over here, up here. I pressed this Q&A link right here, slides.app.google.co, and I asked this question so people can like it and dislike it. Let me just show you that for a quick sec. Um, so, okay, there we go. So, and here you can also ask anonymously. And you can upvote a question or downvote it, which is really cool. Let me tell you, it's just so so cool. It's really cool. So yeah, that's all for this video. I'm going to be making a part two for more complex things and for people who aren't quite as beginners or people that, who have more experience with these kind of things or something like that. Who knows? Maybe there's a person who knows all this, but who wants to know new stuff. If you want to know oh, new stuff, go check out that video right now. It's going to be uploaded at the exact same second as this video. So go check that out, and I'll see you in that video. Goodbye.